Mr. Masharia, yes. what is the best way, the easiest way you can define to somebody who is not very sure what toxic parenting actually is? Thank you. A toxic parent is any parent who has issues with themselves and they transfer them negatively to their siblings. That uh, is the best children. thing, yes, in, to their children. Okay. Yes, it can be either from the mother mm -hmm. to the daughter, mm -hmm. or vice versa, from mm -hmm. the father to the son. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have what we call um, a perfect parent. Oh, All really? of our parents, including me, mm. we have really messed up on one way or the other. What about when we all say, I have the best mom, or ah, my dad is that the best. That is a bubble, and sooner it bursts, and you are faced by the reality. Like, for example, I thought my dad is the strongest guy. And uh, one day I realized, no, something is wrong. Hmm. And that beat me, and it made me feel like I have lost the grip. Sometimes, your parent may good on one area, and frops on the other. Now we are talking about the fropping side, which affects you terribly. And that is what we are calling the toxic parent. Because if they are very good, we could have had maybe a different name. But now this toxic is more like, uh, it's not the, the, the X factor. The X factor is when a man loves the mother so much until his next relationship we will look for the characteristics of our mothers. I'm not talking about that. Mm. I'm talking about both parents mm. or one parent who is toxic. Uh -huh. One, they are either very controlling. Controlling. They control everything mm. from your phone. Mm -hmm. Someone calls you mm. and she's like, oh, hello. Uh, she, she has just left. Can you, who are you? Who am I talking to? Mm. Uh, are you sure you should call this time mm. round? Mm. And then you come in and, Mom, what are you doing? Mm. Why are you picking why my phone? Why are you phone? picking my call? Yeah. And she's like, uh, wait a minute, hold on. She's here, but make sure it's only one minute. And you're like, Mom, what? That's it. Mm. So you feel constricted. Mm. You feel like you're choked. Mm -hmm. And you can't talk. Because one word, it will like be a floodgate of verbal insults and uh, a lot of ground work and groundings and you feel like that little child who wants you to run away and you're oh. a grown-up yeah so that is a toxic parent they control you and they have no boundaries wow Yes, I was just going to say, it seems yes. like a toxic parent yes. doesn't have a boundary. No. They keep crossing lines they shouldn't yes. have crossed. Yes. Uh, they, they do things that they shouldn't have done. Yes. They don't know basically when to let go, when to stop. Yes. And that's interesting because I wanted to talk a little bit more about the characteristics and the symptoms that we may see in a toxic parent. Because yep. now you've already said one of the things is the fact that they are controlling. Yeah. And the fact that they have no boundaries. Yes. And by the way, just in case you're wondering what toxic means, toxic is another word for poisonous. And so basically a parent that poisons their children, yes. both mentally, physically and verbally in every way. And so what are some of those other characteristics, please? Can we continue talking about some of the things we can pick out to see, like, oh, this is a toxic parent? Okay, about the boundaries, uh, we are all brought up by a parent, and at some time, they are supposed to let go. So if your parent cannot let go, that is a toxic parent. They will let go, yes, but you must be within their reach. And unfortunately, when the boundary is not taken care of, it really affects mm -hmm. us because, for example, they will come unannounced. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to report at, at your work at very early, and then suddenly there is the Uber guy calling. Um, I am here, I've just dropped your mom, she's unpacking, and she hasn't paid, and I want you to pay because she told me you will pay. There was no pre-arrangement, maybe even your fiancé is there, and your mama has come with a lot of chicken and yams and <sighs> he, ex he or she expects you to like take time and sit down and she'll ask you a very funny question. Now choose between your work and me. I am your parent. Now honestly, what am I supposed to do? You feel choked. You call your boss. You call the station. I'm not coming. 
I'm not sick, mm -hmm. uh, there was no prearrangement, and your life starts a seesaw of mm -hmm. confusion. A seesaw of confusion. And would you, seesaw, say, would yeah. you say it's, it's similar to the kind of a parent that tries to come in between their child's marriage, where they make you choose, it's either your wife or <laughs> me, or okay. it's, yeah, you know, because there okay. are some moms who can be that way. And, okay. mm -mm. and I know African moms okay. can do this to you. Okay. It's either your wife or me, and no, I was here before she was here. No, that is another problem from a toxic parent. Very few parents will let you get married to the person you want. One, because they failed in their marriage. No. And they want you to live their lives. So they want to see themselves living again in you. Mm -hmm. So what they do, they control your love circle. Yeah. They control when you go out and when you come in. Okay. And that one now to you is so constricting and it leaves you choked and you really feel you want to be elsewhere. Resorting to one, you have no freedom even during your holidays. Mm -hmm. I know people who rather than going to their parents, they'll go and camp at a village near their home with their friends mm. because they feel like those friends have better mamas, they have better fathers, they have better understanding. You're so free with the other parents, mm. but when you're like going home, you only pass there for 10 minutes. Hi, mom. I was around. I came yesterday. It was very late. I knew you were already asleep, but it's a lie. And you love them, yes, but you don't like them. Yes. And that is the confusion, oh, that's the balance. Very, very important. And it's very important. You love them. I but love you my don't parents, like but them. I don't like everything they do. Mm. But I cannot face them and tell them that I don't like what you think or what you do. Oh. Because of the culture and also because of the respect. I love him completely. But there are so many things I don't like about him. But now we need to have the balance of after loving them so much, what am I supposed to do? I don't have to change them. I need to change my perception so that I'm able to handle a toxic parent. If right. that one does not happen, we are in trouble. And I'm so glad that you brought that up because actually, and uh, I hope we're working on it, one of our videos includes exactly what you've said. Yes. Um, a parent who has to reach a point where they're saying, you know what, I have an issue yes. and I don't know what it is. Yes. I just simply can't control yes. whatever it is that, that's making me this way. Yes. That's going to be in one of the videos we're watching and yeah. I trust that our people are working on it yeah. and they shall let us know when it's ready. So yeah. thank you for bringing that up. It's all right. But let's continue talking about some of these characteristics because I'm finding this quite interesting. Yeah. And um, there's something I guess we've all heard, uh, whether you're Christian or not, uh, to Meskia that saying, spare the rod, spoil the child. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Basically, if you don't beat the kid up, you're going to completely spoil them. Right. You know? And we've had things like those. And sometimes we, our parents use this as a means of punishment or abuse. Yeah. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want you to slowly think about the difference between an abusive parent and a toxic parent yeah. as we finish up on okay. the characteristics. Right. Yes. Uh, there is the normal discipline from a normal parent until you feel yenyewe hapa dadi nimekosea na mpaka nakuuliza na kuchapa ngapi ya moto 3 4 ama 2 that's a perfect relationship until you are ready but there is someone just because your boyfriend dropped you when he starts crushing that car because he's wow. like why would you take my daughter out and you know, now that is not even this print. Even if there was an issue, at least the best thing is wait for your daughter or for your son before you go crashing on their fiancés, vehicles, <laughs> and relationship, and phones, and shouting, and tantrums. And as I said earlier, most of our problems and most of our, uh, our inherited problems are from the toxic parents. They had issues with their relationship. And they couldn't move. They couldn't enjoy the freedom we have today. Mm. And they were stuck. And they think you are heading that direction. And rather than confronting their fears, they direct their anger to you. Mm. And that is where now the toxic, the poison, starts spearing. And when the, the, the poison is so spilled, mm. you cannot hide it any longer. Yeah, you will stand and say, Mom, yeah. I want you to keep off from my life. Mm -hmm. And now she will be, one, very angry. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing you can do is to try to reason 
with a toxic parent. Really? How do you reason with someone Actually, who is, that's true. How do you reason with a parent <laughs> who for the first time they look at you as their baby? They have never seen you grow. They don't believe you are even uh, an adult. An adult. Yeah. They look at you from the time you're young, the diapers. You're still my baby. You're still my baby. <laughs> right? And then how do you reason with a parent who has a mental state of depression by what they have been going through. So the best thing you can do if you happen to have a toxic parent, don't try to reason. I find that interesting. Don't try to reason at all. Wow, wow. Make boundaries, set them and be very firm. You love them, yes, but don't take their nonsense. Mm. That is what I can say. And that's yes. interesting because the second video that we're going to be watching touches on that because um, as they continue to bring it up, I, I'm, I'm talking about the videos because they are a part of this discussion. <sighs> yes. They are definitely a part of this discussion. And so what you find in one of the videos, the girl tries to draw a boundary. Yes. And, you know, she's like, either she keeps quiet too much. Yes. She tries to go the other way. She's trying to face the other. She's doing everything she can to avoid the confrontation that is coming from her mom, like yes. hellfire. Yes. You know? Yes. And finally, she just says, get out of my house. Yes. Just get out of my house. Yes. You see? She did it. To her own mom. And that's, yes. some, that's something most of us are like, says, I'm your mom. Talk about how. Let me tell you, we are living in a world of uh, discovery and an open dialogue like we are doing. Yeah. As I said, we, we, we don't have perfect parents. There's nothing like that. It's a bubble. We have, parents have made mistakes and we cannot blame them because of what they have done. But we can set ourselves. We can change our way of thinking. We can set boundaries and let them know as long as I will get joy pushed to this far, this is what she will do. She will withdraw and she will not talk. And that makes them realize that unless I want to, I, unless I stop this, I will not get joy talking to me. And that's why you see this lady, after being pushed completely, she felt like she tried to take her cool, she tried to keep quiet, but the mother is still firing and abusive language and everything. And you know what? They push you to the edge. Yeah. Until you grow out you and break. you even mm. kill what you're holding. Mm. If it's a relationship, you realize your fiancé tells you it's either now me or you or your mother or your father. And now you're left. You don't know who to throw out and who to keep. You want your family. But now at the expense of your mom. So you end up in like, okay, fine. Which is the, the better or the lesser evil? And definitely to be the, the parent. Mm. And some feel so bad when you choose mm. your mate. Of course. Over. Instead of them, of mm. them. Yeah, because and that is not the way. Yeah, because they think I've invested my whole life in you. I've yes. paid your university, everything. Now, every day of your life, it was me. How dare you choose someone else? Over when me? a parent talks like that, uh -huh. it's, toxic, it's toxic behavior. It's manipulating. It's isn't manipulative it? yes. to be to say the least. Mm -hmm. Because now, when my dad says, I'm using him an example because he's okay. Yeah. When he says, Young boy, I've taught you from zero to where you are. Even what you have actually should be mine. That means the check should be written. My paycheck should read my dad. Maybe he will feel better. But you know what? That is manipulative. Yeah. And they make you feel guilty so that you don't realize that there is life out there. Uh -huh. It's so controlling. Uh -huh. It's manipulative. And it spoils you because it's a poison that has been thrown to you. And unless you change your way, don't, change to, don't try to change the parents. And don't try to sit down and reason to them and with them. They will not hear because some are even abusive. They will even fight like you so. So there's no time for like an adult kind of a conversation or a grown-up conversation. It's everything is haywire. You so like she would even move a shoe and throw it at you. She, you know now when that happens. And this child is a grown-up, a grown woman, and she has a child of her own. 
and they are you watching cannot, that. You, yes, you cannot be throwing shoes at a grown woman just because she's your daughter. But that happens. Some even slam the door. They say, you're not going with that man. That date is cancelled. You're grounded. You're grounding someone who is already working. Married. But they are there. <laughs> and she will threaten. If you oh, dare move God. out of this house, I'm going to curse you. Sorry hmm. about that. Hmm. And that is what is happening all the time. We have people who are controlling and doing crazy stuff in the name of love. These parents love you, yes. These parents are very good. The only issue is one, mm. they don't know when to back up. You, you don't know when to back up from your, from your parents or they don't know when to back up from you. And they think because now they have invested in you, you are their project. So <laughs> anything should pass to them or through them. Your relationship should be verified by their commission. Mm. And, and that one now makes you feel you cannot move, mm. you're grounded, mm. and your relationship out there, even your job, is, 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 is compromised. That's very true. Yes. And some of the things, so we've come across uh, think characteristics. Now we've reached manipulation. Yes. Toxic parents are manipulative as well. They try to find ways to manipulate you. Yes. Uh, to, I guess, get something out of you in a way that they shouldn't. Yes. And um, it's interesting, these characteristics. I'm wondering if you have any more because the one I was thinking about was um, again in the same video where it's a mother fighting a grown woman. Yes. There's something she said that piqued my interest, you know, uh, the mother, she was shouting at this girl. Yeah. And that's exactly what she was shouting. Yeah. She was saying, who took care of you all this time? Yes. Who took care of yes. you? Who put clothes on your yes. back? Who did all that for you? Yes. What is wrong with that kind of talk? Because I can tell you for one, I've never heard that from my parents. Never. My mother has never come and says, Nani ali kuchunga? And I'm finding, I'm thinking my parents are okay, like you said. I, I think my parents are okay. So I'm just wondering to myself, apart from manipulating a child that way, yeah. what does it make a child do? And secondly, does that child have any, <laughs> should she even be giving back the way the mom wants? The mom wants a car, she wants a mansion of her own, which the child can provide. But does she have to do it just because the mom took care of her, especially if the mom is abusing her? Well. Joy, it's sad. One, every parent has the seed they plant mm. to their children. Mm. When they become controlling, when they become very angry and outbursts, mm. and they are not able to behave, mm. we pick that and transfer it to our lives. Mm -hmm. We feel guilty, and we feel <sighs> like we are not giving enough. Mm. We also need to have a way of knowing when to give and what mm. and for how wrong. Mm -hmm. And now that requires not the toxic parent, it requires as you as Joey, it requires you as the viewer to know this is my boundary and I will not bed more and this is it. If I'm giving this, it's from my heart. If I don't have, I don't have to borrow. I have to set boundaries and stick to them and let them know this is my stop, this okay. is where I bet, and this is where the, crumble, the, the, the cookie crumbles. Thank you for that. Yes.